Azazel is, 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 is a kind of a fun one because in a lot of ways he's basically uh, Lucifer, right? He's the fallen angel, he's got the, the feathery wings, he's got the alliance with the god of man and all that. So he's a kind of a, a fun character to play around in that, that respect. And a big part of that is the idea of the temptation of, of kind of, you know, to deal with the devil, right? We kind of touched on some aspects of that in the Nakari campaign with some of the features like, you know, seducing units and such of influence. And we kind of wanted to bring that across to Azazel, but we also wanted to explore how that kind of works within the context of chaos, right? So he's gathering up these undivided champions and he's saying, well, if you serve Slaanesh rather than Korn or Nurgle, this is what you get. This is the kind of, you know, gift that I'm offering you. So in gameplay terms of the four champions, he's the one who leans most into our path to glory system, which is about the character progression, about the upgrading the characters. So he'll find it you know, a bit cheaper to upgrade his characters, he'll find it easier to upgrade his characters. And to kind of lean into this idea that he's almost a like, mentor figure to this next generation of, of Slaaneshi champions. Azazel's really flexible. He's a really good pick for Slaanesh because he can fly. Previously, they didn't have a flying lord. He is a bit of a can opener. He's got this kind of armor-piercing uh, quality to him. He's also very, very good at casting. He's a, he's a, a Lord of Slaanesh caster. So uh, he's great for just dropping uh, really powerful AoE spells like slicing shards on your enemies. What was really cool about this project was obviously it had four Champions of Chaos and we had four sound designers. So we all took one each and all kind of made it our own and worked together as a team and went back and forward. So it was my good friend Alex Hines who did Azazel. And I think one of the key things we talked about when we talked about Azazel and how Azazel should sound is it just needed to be very slanesh. So all of Azazel's sounds have this really organic texture to it. It's a bit synthetic, so it sounds a bit off, but it's a nice hybrid, so again, it feels like Slaanesh. So like um, a lot of his abilities have these like pulses that happen, and they're like almost like synthetic heartbeats, so they feel right but wrong. And of course, our animators and VFX department did a phenomenal job, so it made it really easy for Alex to make all the sound design for all of Azazel's melee. That's probably his big thing. And because Azazel is a quick character, all his attacks are very quick and to the point, and there's a lot of kick drums in a lot of his impacts, and it's just there to give him a nice, like, mm, like straight to the point. For Azazel, we were mostly trying to adapt the lore into the animation. He likes himself. From his point of view, he's the most beautiful thing in the earth. He's trying to show off while, while he kills people. His speed and his skill are uh, his best asset on the, on the battlefield, and that's what we, we, we showed in his animation. The War Shrines, they're all bespoke war shrines uh, to each god and I think it would have been very easy to give them all the same sounds and just leave it there and you know it's you know giant chaos monsters carrying giant metal shrines essentially so th them sounds are the same but what we've done differently is there's these big VFX that are playing off them and they are all very bespoke to them gods when he plays undivided it's this really chaos lightning type thing when you play corn it's got this really aggressive fire it's super distorted really over the top really corn and the Slash one's really cool because we gave it a lot of, in the audio in the mix, we gave it a lot of Doppler effects. So as the little VFX are whooshing by, you're getting it because again, Slash is speedy. So we like the idea that the shrine sound effects have, for the Slash, have these like, constantly playing because it's Slash.